Hello, snackers, and welcome to episode 50 of DevNet Snack Minute. For those of you, you didn't introduce yourself. Yeah, that's see, it's not that easy, is it now? Who's <laughs> <laughs> after? You got, I, I thought you got this, Julio. I no, the you, you first thing it. you, you say is who you are. <laughs> who you are. Hello, snackers. This is Julio. I think I know yeah. the introduction, but I don't really know it. <laughs> Hello, Julio. Hello, Snackers. This is Julio. I am Marketing Manager. Welcome to Episode 50 of DevNet Snack Minute. Welcome to a special episode of DevNet Snack Minute, our 50th episode. <laughs> no. Lacey no. jumps Hold in on. at that no, point. Julio, you say, you say, hey, Snackers, I'm Julio Fernandez, Marketing Manager for DevNet. And then I go and I say, Hey, I'm Lacey Senko, Director of Marketing for Cisco Learning and Certifications. And then you say, and welcome to episode 50 of DevNet Snack Minute. And then I say, if you don't know, DevNet Snack Minute is <laughs> your weekly 10 minute. Well, Matt and Kareen have done this 50 times. You know, they should know it by now. All right, so let's start again. Hey, Snackers, Matt and Napoli here. I'm a developer. Oh. Hello, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a tech. Sorry. That next snap minute no. is your 10 minute. It is your 10 minute weekly all things DevNet, Cisco, coding, APIs, and fun stuff. And ah, I screwed that up. DevNet Snack Minutes is your 10 minutes all things DevNet, giving you a fun, cool way to look at. Clearly, I. Don't have it memorized. Let me open it in front of me, man. Oh my god. Shut up. Isn't this like episode 40 something? <laughs> Hello, Snackers. I'm Julio Fernandez, Marketing Manager with Cisco DevNet. Hey, Snackers. I'm Lacey Senko, Director of Marketing for Cisco Learning and Certifications. Welcome to episode 50 of DevNet Snack Minute. For those of you who don't know, DevNet Snack Minute is your weekly 10 minute, all things DevNet, covering fun things like coding, APIs, and getting to know Matt and Kareem. Matt and Kareem are always interviewing our guests. So today we wanna to flip it a little bit and now Lacey, why don't we interview Matt and Kareem? Sounds awesome, Julio. So. You guys have a really great camera presence. And I think the audience wants to know, for those of you who have watched 50 episodes or 49 at this point, um, how did you guys meet? Why do you have such a good rapport? And how did DevNet Snack Minute come to life? I've, I've known Matt since 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, met him at the first DevNet Zone in San Francisco where he was a sweaty mess running around <laughs> trying to trying to do everything, run classrooms, do learning labs, uh, meet with partners and customers. And uh, he was basically, you know, a big part of the show. I remember coming on as um, not even being a DevNetter at that, po at that point. And um, Matt and I just kind of, you know, started talking. We... You know, we manned up the manned the learning lab station together. The first learning lab we deployed, we built. You know, I remember the night before the show, we were there until like three o'clock in the morning building out the infrastructure. So that's kind of how we first met. And then we traveled the world together uh, with with the events. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, I do remember. So uh, we had a, a gentleman on Snack Minutes a few episodes back, Mike McKay. He was running all of the um, infrastructure for that first DevNet zone that we ran. And he brought in Kareem to help out with that. And then that week, um, you know, every night we went out to dinner, um, you know, we got to uh, spend some time together. And ever since that event, uh, we've been, we've been really good friends. So it's been, it's been great. The rest is history. So the how does that history, come, yes. come to be? I know Kareem, um, you came to, to Julio and I with an idea and, you know, of course, we're, the, we're in marketing, we brought it to fruition, but where did the idea come from? 
so Matt, I remember Matt and I were talking about this, where we wanted to start a show. Uh, we didn't have any budget. We didn't have anything. So I think Matt is in Ohio. I'm in, in California, uh, in San Jose. And so we said, we are going to record an episode a month. Uh, and we're going to record it because we traveled a lot. We drank together a lot. So we figured we'd bring in the drinking part of of what we do and the, like the, just most of our conversations happen around tech happen as we're drinking after a long day of work. Right. And so we're like, Hey, let's bring that into the show. Um, that was pre snack -snack minute. minute. Okay. Pre snack minute. We brought in, we called it, uh, Matt and Kareem code party. Yep. (laughs) And then we ran, we ran two episodes. We recorded it over Webex and there were like, what, 50 minutes, 60 minutes? Yeah, they were super long and they were boring. (laughs) I mean, there were snippets here and there that were funny, but it was not the, you know, first 10 minute thing that you guys see today. (laughs) No, but we also had this, you know, we brought in, you know, we brought in alcohol with us. And so I found myself like having a glass of wine at like 11 o'clock in the mornings because it's like three o'clock in the afternoon Matt's time or two o'clock yeah. in the afternoon Matt's time. And so um, the the timing was a little bit off, but what we did and Matt, you can speak for a little bit because that was your kind of your idea is we took that live to in-person at Cisco live where go, ahead, go explain what we did there. Do you remember the the workshop we ran together at Cisco? Oh, live? that's right. That's right. Oh, I forgot we did that. And so <laughs> this was in Cisco live Europe and it was um, probably the first time we were in Barcelona and we were going to do a workshop together that was, uh, you know, tied to Code Party. I think it was probably an intro to Python or something like that. But I had to run to the care for um, to get bottles of wine <laughs> to bring into the event so that everyone could have a glass of wine and uh, we could have a drink to do a Code Party as part of, of uh, that Cisco Live event. It was uh, poorly, um, poorly planned and executed by Kareem and I. <laughs> we needed help. We did it more help than we and realized. People had fun, it like, did happen. Yes, it we did. had like what thirty <laughs> people hanging out in a in a eight uh, eight uh, workshops. It was twenty. Eight, eight, it was twelve. It, at the no, time. it was yeah, ten or twelve sweet seat yeah. workshop. People were standing around with their little wine glasses, and you know, I think Kareem was teaching and I was pouring, and uh, was then switching. when I was teaching and Kareem was pouring, so and then it, it was fine. <laughs> in the catalog, it was Kareem and Matt court party actually, so that was yeah. Really cool. Oh my goodness, I forgot that we had done that. That's yeah. such yeah, that's good. Good, that's good. So Kareem, I remember in Barcelona, uh, Cisco Live Europe, January of 2020, we talked about you know how do we bring this live, and then the office was closed. And then we didn't have access to the studio and and we didn't have somebody to help us record it. And and I think that with with Chow's help, and, and you guys don't see Chow because he's the one behind the screens getting all of these things put together. We came up with a with a format that works. I mean, every week you bring a guest, they're sharing their screen. So we have four different feeds and the sound and Lacey, you're in North Carolina. I'm I'm in Utah, and and it's working. But we couldn't do it in 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 2000. You guys remember when the first episode of of this deafness snack minute, what it was and when it was? I know it was November. I want to say November seventh was the first one we released. No, not November seventh. Nope. No, oh, I don't remember. It was actually January 21st, and Kareem was our first speaker. And it was about securing API keys with HashiCorp. With HashiCorp, it was your uh, your uh, your project. Oh yeah, that's right. right. That and was our wait, first we, re- we didn't release it till January first, the twenty first. No, we had to record them. In, we had to record it a we bunch of times. We recorded in like November. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Somewhere around that. laughs> January. It- this has been yeah, the longest January year. <laughs> it was. I remember it's only our first fifty episode. episodes, it was, but it did take almost a year from kind of concept to execution and trying to figure it out. And and Chell really has done amazing things behind the scenes to um, to pull this pull this all together. Not to mention the animations, you guys, right? Like Chow has done the animation for the show and the bumper and the ending. And it just he just took it to life. Well, I remember in the logo at first, you know, going back to your drinking, 
and your your beer making Kareem, you wanted the logo to have like a like like you know wine and beer and stuff like that. I remember Lacey said like, nope, you can't do that. Nope, you can't do that. So Lacey, what's in the logo now? The logo is coffee, not alcoholic beverages. So you still get some caffeine. You still get a kick. You still get some. Mine has energy. got blue in it. <laughs> as I'm not. older and wiser, I, as I'm older and wiser, I'm regretting that whole thought process of the alcohol cream. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I don't think I could do that anymore, Matt. It's just bad. Idea. I'm, I'm here to be your conscience. Matt, can you tell us something about Kareem that people don't know? Tell us about something about cream that people don't know. Oh, um, I have a really good one. And so, um, you know, we had uh, Quinn on for uh, meat driven telemetry for our special episode for Devna Create. Um, cream is actually an excellent cook. Um, he's he makes uh, his his family. Uh, he has Greek and Egyptian family. And so he makes uh, both wonderful uh, Greek foods and uh, wonderful Arabic foods and uh, in mix of grills and salads and all that kind of stuff. So uh, that's probably something people don't don't know about Kareem. And Matt has been to my house a couple of times. I think we had dinner together here, right? Yes, and uh, excellent Turkish coffee to cap the night. You, you never invite your house, Kareem? I, dude, you're always invited. Oh, yeah. You're always invited. <laughs> <All> right, Kareem. <laughs> so now tell us something about Matt that people don't know. Uh, well... Matt was his class valedictorian in in out of high school. I know yeah, that. Was. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't he, know that. Uh, yeah, um, he's pretty smart, and um, he's pretty. He's a pretty awesome soccer player. Okay, Kareem. At the end of every episode, you ask all your guests, "What if you had a superpower? What would it be?" So we are turning the tables on you today. And asking you if you had any superpower in the world, what would it be? You know, it's we talk tech all the time, and and we can do demos and code. But this is, I have to say, it's it's a hard question to to answer. Uh, but to me, probably um, an unnatural good luck would be my super pop, my, my oh. superpower. So I can just walk into Vegas and you win, or whenever I need anything, you're like. I just get a it. leprechaun. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mine is being green and, and short. <laughs> so awesome. liquid luck, huh? And, yeah. Liquid luck. That's I think right. they did that. They they did that in Harry Potter. <laughs> did they? Okay. Yeah. There you go. And All Matt, right. same question. Your turn. Uh liquid will you know, I would like to think that I would come up with something altruistic. We've had such good ones like um, feed everyone on the planet and uh, we had people say uh, you know be able to absorb all the knowledge and then be able to teach everyone everything that I know and I, I, I like a lot of those um, but I don't know for those of you who have watched snack minutes you might have noticed that at the beginning of them um, I was a little bit thinner <laughs> and uh, because of the pandemic I had some time to work on myself and I lost a ton of weight and then I put it right back on. <laughs> and so I think in that frustration, I would say the ability to lose the weight and keep it off. Just keep it off. And that would be the best thing that I could do. Maybe um, not drink as much alcohol. That would be great. If I could do that, that would so, be a great so superpower. And then I could focus to on... totally selfish. Oh, 1000% <laughs> selfish. That's why, that's why I said I'd like to think it would be altruistic. But I, because then I could focus on a bunch of other stuff to help people instead of worrying about running for an hour and a half every day. All right. You know, that's also called diet and exercise. Not oh my God. <laughs> I know, but then I'd have extra time. <laughs> Matt and Kareem, thank you so much for your superpower snackers. The most popular superpower that we have is. To be honest, for me, I think I'd probably want to have teleportation powers. I'd, I'd love to be able to teleport. Being able to teleport. I would have to go with teleportation, both in space and time. And the second is... So obviously, I would like to have more than one if my superpower could be to have more superpowers. I would like to be like Superman who has like tons of superpowers, but if I had to pick <laughs> one... 
That's all the time we have today, Snackers. I hope you enjoyed our special episode number 50, getting to know us, getting to know Kareem and Matt a little bit better. And we look forward to 50 more. Viva Snack Minute. Thank you, Snackers. <laughs> Viva Snack Minute. <laughs>